Hello, everyone. I am Sister Shamika. I am the first and second grade, one of the first and second grade teachers for, for Bible class at Eastside Church of Christ. Um, I want to welcome everybody. I want to say hello to you guys for the ones that I've seen last year. I want y'all to know I do miss y'all, miss y'all so, 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 so very much. I pray that you guys are continuing to keep, keep them safe and not giving your parents such a hard time. Well, let's get right into this. We are going to explore Moses, the story of Moses. Moses is a very beautiful story. It's also in the Bible. It's in the Bible in Exodus 1, Exodus 1 through 22. We're going to talk about baby as Moses. We're going to start at the book of Exodus 1, 22 through Exodus chapter 2. And I'm going to tell you guys a story about Moses as him as a baby. Um, I thought about reading the Bible, but I want to give you all some pictures, something else to look at. And also, I have some other things that's going to be emailed. I have to figure out how we're going to do that. But either I'm going to email it, put it in the email, you'll get it. Or you can email me back. I will have questions at the end. Keep in mind, if you can answer these questions, you will get a prize. When we all eventually come back together, because we are going to come back together. So, with that being said, welcome, you guys, and let's start off by saying a prayer. Please close, bow your head and close your eyes. My dear Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time. We want to thank you. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for watching over our parents. Thank you for keeping us all safe. We come to you at this time asking you for understanding, for peace, for comfort. We come to you giving you, telling you that we love you and we thank you. We also come asking forgive us for any bad things that we have done. And we know sometimes being cooped up in the house, we tend to get restless, but we, we pray that we can get it together and we ask you for your forgiveness. Please continue to watch over us and guide us in Jesus name. Amen. Okay. So let's start off with the story. So I'm going to hold up pictures. You're not going to see my face. But pay attention to the pictures because I may have questions. Let me make sure. Can y'all see that? Yes. Okay. Long ago and far away, at a time after, after the beginning, after Noah and the flood, after Abraham and Isaac, after Jacob and Joseph, the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt. But Pharaoh was afraid of them. They were so many Hebrew slaves, so many men and women, so many boys and girls. Hmm. Pharaoh thought of a bad plan. Kill all the Hebrew babies, he ordered. What? Kill all the Hebrew baby boys? Hmm. Aram and Jochebed was Hebrew slaves. They had a baby boy. They kept the baby in secret for a while, but Jochebed knew she couldn't hide him much longer. So night after night, Jochebed put together reeds. Which reeds is actually, she's, she's making some. She's making a basket. That's what she's doing. So, here we go. She wove them in and out, in and out, in and out, around and around, in and out, in and out, around and around. Her daughter, Miriam, watched. What will you put in that basket? Then she put tar at, around the bottom. Now the basket will float. Miriam said, what will you put in that basket? You will see, answered Jochebed. The next morning, Jochebed put her baby boy in the basket. Splash! She put the basket in the mouth of the river. And as you can see, there's the baby right there. They were worried, and I would be worried, and I would be concerned. So she put Moses in there to keep him safe. Now, here's the question I have. Do you think she would have done that without knowing that God was going to keep them safe? Hmm. I think she knew God was going to keep them safe. God keeps us safe all the time. He watches over us all the time. He's watching over us now with all the stuff that's going on. Okay. What will happen to my baby brother? Marion asked. God will take care of him, said Jacobin. What did I tell you? And he did. Marion waited and watched. Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's daughter found the basket. Now, Romero, Pharaoh was the bad man who wanted to take, 
to get rid of all the baby boys. Pharaoh's daughter did not have a baby of her own. And she saw the baby boy. And she said, I will keep the baby. He will be my son. I will name him Moses because I took him out of the water. Now, remember, why did she say she was going to name him Moses? Because she took him out of the water. And that's in Exodus 1, 8 through Exodus 2, 10. The baby Moses grew older. The baby Moses became a little boy. The baby Moses grew to be a big boy. The baby Moses grew to be a young man. I want to thank you guys for taking this time out to hang out with me while we explore that little piece of baby, little part of baby Moses. Um, and like I said, it's in Exodus. Exodus 1, 22, all the way through. I'm trying to make sure. I want to show y'all in the Bible, but okay, sorry. It goes all the way to Exodus two, to um, verse ten, and that's what Exodus one twenty two through Exodus 2 through 10. Sorry, just trying to make it clear. So that is one of your questions. Why, here's your questions, and this will be yours. Why did she name the baby Moses? That's one of your questions. Oh, sorry. Why did she name him, name the baby Moses? That's one of your questions. The other question was, who was Moses' sister? Her name starts with an M, remember. Her name starts with an M. Another question, who made the basket? Who made the basket that Moses was in? Who made that basket? Okay, and your last question is, why did they put him in the basket? Why did they put him in the basket? So those are my questions. You can email me back with those questions and for some of you guys i'm gonna say it here but i'm also hopefully it'll be emailed to you my email is s s h e m i k a d a b i s there's a at sign gmail.com again s s h e m i k a d a b i s at gmail.com. Now, I have the questions here. So you can email me whenever you want. So everybody who emails me, you can um, and give me the answers. Um, I will keep a tally. And at the end, for all the questions that you get right, there will be something for you. I pray that you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you next Sunday as we continue to explore our story of Moses. You guys have a wonderful day. Remember, Sister Shemika loves you guys very much. And remember, don't forget to read the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand up on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. I have some other songs, but we can't sing them because we have some new people and I know y'all don't know them. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.